Two deadly shootings in Durham on Thursday, raising a lot of concern tonight among community members. And CBS 17's Dina Harley is live there for us in Durham tonight. Dina, you had a chance to talk to some folks today who live in that area, and they heard those gunshots last night. That had to be unsettling for them. Yeah, that's right. A very scary scene here last night. Now, that one shooting happened at this apartment complex that you can see behind me here. It's along Kent Lake Drive. I did talk to one resident there who heard the entire thing happen last night. She says it has not been the first time. Just in this apartment alone, I mean, it's happens often. One man is dead after a shooting on Kent Lake Drive in Durham late Thursday night. Neighbors say they heard the gunshots. It sounded like fireworks which I kind of thought it was, but then I thought it was really weird because the holidays is over and I heard the car crash. And so I knew what it actually was. Victoria Felton says her neighbors had to take cover in their own home. They ducked down since their window is right there. They're always ducking down on the side of the bed or in the hallway. Police say they were called to the area just before midnight and that victim was pronounced dead at the scene. On Friday, a car could be seen in a ditch with bullet holes, a shattered windshield, and what looked like blood on a deployed airbag. But this wasn't the only shooting, as earlier in the day on Thursday, an 18-year-old man was shot and killed near Wabash Street. With two people shot and killed in less than 12 hours, those we spoke with say they just want the violence to stop. Sometimes it's like a war zone and we're, we're tired of it and we, we want you know the Durham police and the officials to I mean we need help like it should not be like this now both of those shootings including that one here along Kent Lake Drive and the one on Wabash Street both of them remain under investigation police have not released any information on a suspect or a motive in either case just yet reporting live in Durham Dina Harley CBS 17 News all right Dina thank you very much I know those folks definitely want some answers